and you can tell I'm very deep in snow here. So. Oh God! Crap! Det är skönt att man kan som ha en liten plats att sitta i de här stora absider man kan som ja, det är ganska skönt. Hey guys, Ken here, Backpacking Light, and today I'm going to talk about the Hilleberg Onion 2 GT version. This is a summer tent made by Hilleberg. I think it weighs about 2.4 kilos in the current setup. Uh, it's not a winter tent, and I don't sell them as winter tents, but they work quite well as a winter tent, at least for me. Um, you're not going to find a tent of this size uh, by Hilleberg um, that is going to be as light as this is. For the same weight you could use something like the Hilleberg Swallow which is uh, you know just a one-man tent with a little vestibule and this is just a lot more comfortable for the weight and since I'm using it on a Polka I don't really care too much about the weight on it. But as it's not meant as a winter tent there are some uh, some negative aspects to it. Uh, some of the big ones is is that this door doesn't open up completely. Uh, instead it opens up just a little bit and you have to take off your gloves in order to basically use anything on the tent. Uh, so you end up freezing your fingers a little bit when you do that. But you just open it up and it has, this is as much as you can open it and it's only got this little elastic that in the cold it doesn't really it's not elastic anymore it's just a little cable uh, it also has these catenary cuts which means that wind and the snow blows into it so it's not an optimal winter tent but it certainly works for me uh, my colleague Christian has been using the Sauter Gear Mid and we'll be doing a video of that as well uh, I've had the Onion 2 GT and some pretty heavy winds and pretty heavy snowfall and it hasn't failed me yet. I mean some of the this is a lighter pole so when it gets a lot of snow the pole has a tendency to kind of bend and you have to bend it back into shape once you get to warmer weather. Uh, but other than that I just uh, I really like the tent for this kind of usage for the winter. Uh, winter tents, you're not going to worry about the snowfall, you're not going to worry about uh, the, the wind. It's just a really stable tent for this kind of purpose. And the amount of room you get, the vestibule is as big as the sleeping area. And, uh, you know, I've got my winter polka in here and I'll show that in a minute. And uh, it's a two-layer tent, of course. You could take out that 
that uh, inner there and you'd get a lot more room in the winter but then again you would have to deal with all that wind blowing on you because of the catenary cuts. Uh, you can see I have these tie outs. You can move the... Now I actually forgot to bring winter pigs and winter pigs don't really fit into the onion anyway. You can see that the onion just has this little ring that you're supposed to put your tent peg into and that of course doesn't work in the winter and especially in this really light snow so what I did is I took some guy line and I did a little bit of a MacGyver mood here I just took a wood peg tied on some guy line and put that in there and then I've got myself really nice easy setup for winter use. I mean, there's not really a lot to say. There's tons of videos of the onion, though I'm not sure there's too many winter, winter videos of this tent because not too many people are dumb enough to use it in winter. And I would say that if you're gonna be doing like a several week trip up above the tree line and you just uh, you know it's going to be really wild you probably wouldn't want to have this with you but for me and most of my trips I actually like having it in the winter time you can see here I've got this nice little uh, hole that I've made for myself I put my kitchen over here so I've been cooking water and food in there and I can just kind of sit up nicely in the tent. Oh, I've got my camera gear there. And if you want to show the camera here, you can see even we've got the, the polka that fits nicely into the vestibule. And this setup is really nice because you can see I have my backpack here. And this is the Sodic. Uh, we don't actually have a name for the backpack yet. Maybe the Ron Swanson will call it. Uh, it's just a big 75 liter backpack, but what's really nice with it having this backpack in this polk, polka is that we built this backpack specifically for winter hikes and for kind of laying in the polkas because what you can do you Just open that up without ever having to lift it out of the bag without having to lift up from the top And you can get into everything like I keep my doom pants here or down pants and uh you know, can come to my kitchen set pretty quickly without having to open up my entire bag or having to, you know, take out everything from my polka. It's just a really nice all-around setup. And when you have this setup in, for example, the um, Onion GT, you can basically just sit here, have your polka inside your vestibule, have access to everything in your backpack, kitchen set and everything and it just keeps everything nice and tidy so you know pretty much where everything's at and in the winter that's extremely important to kind of know where everything's at so if you start to freeze on your hands you know where your extra gloves are you start freezing on your toes you know where your extra socks are and it just makes it really easy to keep organized and tidy so that's about all I really want to say on the the Hilleberg onion and my little setup here uh, yeah Ken from backpacking life cheers <laughs>